Hi, in this video I will be showing you how to design and simulate a circuit in LT Spice. Uh, for the sake of keeping things simple, I will be dividing, I will be designing a, a simple voltage divider circuit and I will be performing a DC operating point analysis or a simulation, which is a type of simulation that is used to determine steady state behavior of a circuit under constant input. Uh, a text version of this tutorial is available on my blog site. I'll be put I'll put the link in the description if you prefer to read text and see screenshots instead of just following a video, whatever works for you. Okay, to get started, upon launching LT Spice, you'll be greeted with this empty window with a lot of these options on the toolbar grayed out. These options, a lot of them are components. Then you have some tools related to, you know, uh, zooming in and out the schematic, managing the window, the interface, configuring the simulation, running it, stopping it, uh, you know, rotating icons, mirroring, etc. So we need to design a voltage divider circuit that looks like this, where the voltage input is going to be 5 volts. Uh, resistor 1 is going to be 1k ohm, resistor 2 is going to be 2k ohm, we have a ground, and we have a, have a voltage output. In this case, the voltage output for this circuit with these values is going to be 3.3 volts. And we're going to verify the behavior of this circuit, which takes in 5 volts and output 3.3 using um, analysis. To get started, we will need to create a new empty schematic sheet that can be done by clicking on the schematic symbol on the symbol of the toolbar or clicking on file then a new schematic or by clicking or pressing ctrl n on your keyboard cool cool next now we will need to place the 5 v volts voltage source that can be done by either clicking on the voltage source symbol on the toolbar or by clicking V on your uh, keyboard. Now, if you want to rotate this symbol, uh, your keyboard shortcut is going to be Control R. But and if you want to mirror it, your uh, keyboard shortcut is Control E. I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, right now, the symbol is hovering over to place it permanently on a schematic, you left click on your mouse. Now I see another instance of voltage source that hovering over, I don't want that, so I just press escape on my keyboard, and voila. Next, I'm going to be adding a ground. That can be done by either clicking on the ground symbol on the toolbar, or by pressing on the button G on your keyboard. Similar thing to the voltage source the symbol is hovering over left click on your mouse and then cancel out by pressing escape here we go we have these two components on here next i will be adding two actually don't worry about assigning the values yet see it doesn't show like five volts i will get to it later uh now the next part is going to be placing two resistors uh in series, one under the other, like this. To do so, you can do that by clicking on the resistor symbol on the toolbar, or by pressing R on your keyboard. Okay, now instance one is going to be R1, and then the other resistor is going to be R2. I don't need R3, so I press escape on my keyboard, and voila. And you can either wire this to this same ground or you can have like a separate ground symbol for it. I am going to add a separate ground symbol for it. And yep. Now I am going to be wiring these components together. You can do that by clicking the wire symbol on the tools bar or by pressing W on your keyboard. And you're going to have like this, you know, Cursor looking thing like that. So, wire voltage source to ground, wire voltage source into the first resistor, 
then wire the two resistors, then wire to ground, and I'm gonna wire an output here because I'm gonna attach a net label to it. Now, let's say you place a component or like you place, an, you place a component that you don't like its location and you wanna move it. For example, I wanna move this ground to look, you know, to be on the same line as this, just for, you know, for the sake of having, you know, a nice looking circuit, I guess. I click on a component, then I press M. You'll see this symbol, this mouse cursor change. Click on it and then drag, you know, just move it down, then press escape. Then you'll have to, you know, you're just your wire, you know, your wiring, which is simple and voila. Now, let's say you end up placing a couple of extra components like this that you don't need. To delete them, press the delete key, D-E-L, Del, on your keyboard. Then you'll see the scissor cursor. Just left click on whatever component you want to delete and voila. Next, I am going to be adding values to these components. Now we know VN is going to be 5 volts, R1 is going to be 1K, R2 is going to be 2K. Right click on the symbol and it will bring up this small menu. And for DC value, just type 5 and OK. Should be good. Now for R1, right click on the resistance and the resistance field, type 1 and small case k for r2 same thing two small case k click on ok now we have our values now i'm gonna add an output connection point like a label here it says v out so when i'm simulating this it shows okay v out is this just for the sake of making things clear to do so click on the net label or symbol on the tools bar or just click in on your keyboard and it will bring up the snit name uh, window now i know this is going to be an output so i'm going to change the port type to output and i'm going to call this v out and i'm going to place it there and if you want to you know let's say you want to label components name for example, the V1, I'm going to rename it to VN. I will just double click on this. I'm going to right click on this. Sorry. Uh, and then see where it says V1. I'll just change it to N. And voila. And here we have our circuit ready to be simulated. Okie dokie. Now, for the simulation part, as I mentioned the alert, I will be performing a DC operation point analysis which is type of analysis that you know determine the behavior of this circuit under steady constant input in this case we have a constant 5v i want to see how it behaves and what's going to be on the output we will start off by configuring the analysis and that can be done by clicking on the cog symbol here configuration analysis or by clicking on simulate then configure analysis or by just pressing a on your keyboard it will bring up this uh, this menu with a lot of simulation op options. I'll probably make more videos to dive deeper into the other, you know, simulation types. But for the sake of this tutorial, just to get you familiar with how to use a tool, how to use, you know, LTSpice, I will be clicking on DC operation point. And then I'm not going to add anything here for the syntax. And this is good enough for now. Click OK and place this whatever like maybe bottom left here should be good to go now we have our simulation configured and we are ready to run it to run the simulation you can do that by clicking on simulate then run or you can click on this run uh, button or alt r on your keyboard when you do that we'll have this list of net list here with the results of the simulation showing us okay we have the you know voltage input voltage output uh current 
passing through R1, current passing through R2, and we have like, you know, current leaving the, you know, the voltage source. But let's say you want to actually probe certain points on the circuit. You can close this menu. And now you, when you hover over like, you know, wires, you should be able to like, you know, place like probe to check the, you know, the voltage values across certain, uh, across circuit, you know, certain parts of the circuit. So we know that VN here is going to be five. The output is going to be 3.3. .3. Here is going to be zero. Here is going to be zero. And yeah, and when you hover over like certain components, if you look at the bottom of your window, down here, this white empty bar, when you hover over a component, you're going to see more information such as, you know, the current and the power dissipation. If you hover over here, the other resistors, same thing. Hover over the voltage source, same thing. And yeah, this is pretty much the gist of it. This is an extremely basic example. I didn't want to overcomplicate it. This is my first time doing a tutorial like this, so please bear with me. Again, I have a written version of this on my blog site. Uh, I have it linked in the description. I hope this was helpful, and I will do better to improve the quality of these tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.